well. Welcome to Campusol and welcome to Sector C. Okay, so when you're um, going around these sectors, you will find these information boards dotted around. Now, like I said, with sector C, they've got two sections. We're here at the moment, so you've got this area here. You've got the hotel, the golf club, and then you've got Upper C, which is up over there. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take you around some of the roads, give you an idea of what the roads look like around here on sector C, and then we'll go over towards the hotel, the golf club, and then we finish off doing upper. So today we're looking at sector C on campus L. And as you leave B, you have to go across the bridge, over the Rambler. You can see the golf course to, what well, straight in front of us really. So as we over the, go over the bridge, we're into sector C. You've got the sign there on that been welcome to see campus old sea I should say yet again great work by the uh, the gardening group do the voluntary work during the week they keep everything looking nice so as you come around this bend you see the the welcome sign looks like somebody's setting up selling veg there today So we're going to have a look at lower C. Now C's split in two parts. We're going to go into this part here first. So we're going to go right. Now I'm going to take you into a, a private area. The, this is a private estate, nothing to do with the actual campus out itself. So if you actually live here, you're going to have to pay a community fee. Uh, and all these properties are being let go now They've all been tidied up. Some have been bought already. Still a lot to be sold. But right in the middle of here is a, a community pool. And the, the main reason why you're paying your community charge is really your, you're paying towards this uh, pool. These are two bedroom properties. I think they call them Monsouris. These are, so these buildings are completely different to the rest of campus L. There's two more, what I call estates on the D, but on C, we've just got, we've got two here as well, I should say. Sorry, I got that wrong, didn't I? There's two on here as well. But this one is the only one that's got the community pool. So we're looking over to, be at the moment. So I'm going to take you into the other private estate. These are slightly bigger and I believe they've got underbuilds. You have to forgive me guys, I don't really know the roads around there and there's a lot of one-way streets so you just got to keep looking at the signs so there's some of the other roads around C give you an idea So if we go straight over, so 2R, you see the, the lampposts are different as well. Oh, we're going this way. <laughs> so this is another private estate, so this also would be a, a community charge. Now they haven't got a community pool, but the houses are bigger. Now I, I can't say if they're two or three bedroom. Looking at some of them, they do look like 
they're probably free. They've got far bigger plots as well. Now on this estate, nearly all the properties have been bought. Yeah, and just just over straight in front of us as well. They're private as well. I haven't got a lot of information about the reason why they're private, other than they're not built by Massa. So that gives you some idea of the two private estates on Sector C. We're going to go straight over. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to drive around some of the roads here on C. And you probably well know that there's no shops over here. There's a hairdressers. Obviously, we got the golf club and we got the hell towel. But other than that, there's nothing else here. It was planned when they built the area, but uh, never got around to doing it. But there is talk about a football pitch. Now some of these roads are one way. Now at the moment we're on a, a two-way road. And you, if you notice, you see these little blue signs? That's the uh, fiber optic cables. So you can have super fast ball brand. Now one of the other things I love about campus hole is the big wide open spaces. Now at the back here it goes out onto the campo. So if you've got dogs, I don't think cats would appreciate it so much, but dogs would love exploring that, walk all over it. You go walk for miles. I will put up a couple of links during the video to some of the walks I've done on the back here. And if you notice also, not all the villas are the same. They're all got different types of villa. And I'm not gonna go through all the names of different types. <laughs> so you also notice that some of the roads are really wide and some of the roads are not. Now I believe if it's this road, no, not that road, because it's a it's the wrong way. Is it this road? Let's have a look. Yeah, there is. Now this is the road that's got just right now is where the saloon is. Now that's the hairdressers. Yeah, so you have to be wary of all these one-way streets. Just shows you how big this whole part of campus is really. And we're just on the third one.
So there's plenty of bins about. Now, during the week, the bins get emptied uh, three times a week. Um, they even come on a Sunday sometimes. There was also obviously recycled bins for glass and cardboard about. Now if you've got mail, um, what it is, you, you probably have a, a letterbox actually on B somewhere, either it would be the Spanish Post Office or in Best Wishes, and I believe there's another shop that also has post boxes as well. But they do come to your property. If you've got an Amazon package or something like that, they actually will come to your, your address. Um, if, if the Spanish Post Office are doing it, if they will try and deliver it, if they can't, then they leave a note and you have to go into the Spanish post office and pick the package up. I think that's one of the things that I had to get used to. I suppose you know, we had it quite cush in the UK with the door to door mail and also um, your bins. But it's no hardship, you know. So we're on the outer perimeter road again on Lower Sea. Just give you an idea. There's a track there straight in front that you can go up. Now that'll take you down to El Paraton. I'm not going to take you down every road. You get the idea. There's lots of side streets, lots of crossroads, obviously. Okay. Somebody doing a delivery over there. Can I get up that one? I think we can. Let's go this way. It's always a, a mystery for me. My wife does a lot of her uh, deliveries here when she's doing her sewing business, coming out to customers. <clears throat> I think that was the road I've been up, I was up a minute ago. Yeah, there's a car that's designed. So, oh, <clears throat> another one way street here. Now, the van you see on the right there, that's one of the um, pool cleaners. You can have your pool cleaned by pool cleaning company if you want you don't have to you can do it yourself but just to take the strain off you especially this time of year so this gives you a, a uh, a good view, looking over towards B and A. I think yes, you can just well, maybe you can just work out where the uh, the shops are on that. But it also it gives you an idea of the distance. I I, I say most people, if they're going to live out in campus, so even if you're living on A and B, you still need a car. You still got to get to the hospital. You've still got to get to the bigger shops, uh, especially the airport, things like that. There are obviously taxis, and you can. There is a bus at the moment, a Camp Basol bus that you can book. But yeah, I, I still would recommend if you're coming out, especially to Spain, it's such a vast area that you need a car. So we're going over towards the uh, hotel 
and the golf club. Which is straight over the road. Now the hotel while I'm making this video was it's been bought, was supposed to be open back in June, but not a lot's been going on at the moment. Nothing's been said. So you've got the golf club straight in front of us now. Over in Spain, you don't have to be a member to go over and have a drink at the golf club. So I'm just going to park in the golf club. So I'll just put up this footage now of the Hell Town, what it looked like when it was open. said before this road will lead you on to D but we're not doing that in this video so we're just coming up to upper C now Now the properties to our right, I believe, are one bedroom properties. I think they call them, don't swear by it, but I think it, they're called Victoria's, but I'm not 100%. Probably got that wrong. 
and to the left you've got columns and columns of Neptunos. These are the, the three bedroom, two bathroom properties. A lot of these have got pools. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you some of the roads on Upper Sea. What I'm going to do also, I'm going to put on some music, uh, because I'm not going to babble all through here. <laughs> So you got a bit of a shot. This is uh, a lovely garden here to the right. It's a memorial garden.
Well, hope you enjoyed that. As you know, you've got to keep watching because you don't know what I'm going to do next. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, look around on C. If there's any questions, I will try and answer them. I don't know anything about C. But I'd be interested to know if there's any other shops or whatever. Especially, you know, we've got the hairdressers. Maybe there's something else I don't know about. Anyway, keep watching. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.